video to uh, describe the basic functions of the grammar checker at bonpatron.com. Uh, so what you'll see here when you arrive on the, the site is the main editing window and you can uh, either start writing here or you can paste a file that you've created in a Word document for example. And we actually suggest you use the uh, Word document approach that way you can save the file somewhere else in case uh, you lose your internet connection. So the uh, way this site works, um, let's look at the example here, which would uh, put a text in the same way you would copy and paste a text in. So after uh, several seconds, the text comes back and there are all kinds of uh, yellow and uh, red boxes. Uh, so basically anything in yellow or red is going to be a grammatical error. Anything entirely in red is a spelling error, right? So the user simply moves their mouse over to find and finds the information, and that way they can find out what needs to be changed. Uh, for example, here, let's change it and see whether it comes back with uh, the correct structure. Oh, we got that wrong. Let's do it this way. And, you know, there it is, fine. And you can change one error at a time, change all of them at once, and, and check again. It really depends on the individual user. Uh, so the main purpose is to write a text, submit it, interact with the feedback, make changes, and learn through the process as you move towards a text that has fewer and fewer grammatical errors. <laughs> there are a couple of... Uh, Boxes down here, you can indicate whether je is, is uh, feminine, so whether you have to have adjective agreement with uh, the feminine. Um, and you have a couple tools here. There's a verb conjugator. You can put any verb in you want, uh, and right away <clears throat> you get the full conjugation. There is a English-French dictionary if you want to, <clears throat> to get some words. And there is also um, something to help with... Uh, vocabulary, so it's basically a thesaurus. <clears throat> Further down, there's a list of the errors, and this is linked to some exercises and also our complete grammar guide. Right. Uh, you have options for inserting accents here, and uh, you have links to other tools like our vocabulary guide, our grammar guide as well. And keep in mind that everything you do here is available in French, of course, as here, or in English. And this can be helpful for parents working with students or beginning beginner level students. Right? So the same same approach. Put the text in. Bon patron will find the errors. It will never correct it automatically. It's up to the user to make the changes um, and learn through the process. There are literally thousands of errors that are caught, and uh, specifically it's designed for learners of French. So please share it with your students. Uh, it can be used for all levels as long as you can produce a sentence. And uh, pedagogically, it is probably the best way for your students to learn uh, to improve their writing in terms of the grammar.